Today, I'm gonna to go behind the scenes and show you how I'm actually building visual brand identities in minutes with ChatGPT. I'm gonna show you some real client projects I'm working on and the exact process that I'm going through. I call this the mood board method, and it's basically a complete system to build out your entire visual brand identity right inside ChatGPT. But before we jump in, let's just go ahead and revisit what it normally takes to build out a brand. It is a time-consuming process, usually a lot of research, a lot of scrolling and hunting around for examples and inspiration, and then usually a lot of costly back and forth with designers. And what often happens is you end up with something that still doesn't feel quite right or that's not very functional and usable. I've been a professional designer for over 15 years and I've built multiple seven-figure brands from scratch. I've also helped thousands of entrepreneurs and business owners build profitable online brands. So I know firsthand how challenging and time-consuming it is to turn your vision into a professional brand identity. And that's why I've been really obsessed with these new AI tools like ChatGPT. And the big breakthrough that I've found now is that you can use these AI tools like ChatGPT to brainstorm, visualize, and create brand assets in minutes. And the kind of work that would normally take many hours or days or weeks of back and forth with a client, we can actually knock out really quick because we can do different mock-ups, see which ideas and directions they like. And then we can even visualize what their marketing campaigns might look like, their ads, their graphics, their websites. And really the amount of creative energy it would normally take to do all that work is hard to quantify because it's so much time and effort. But now with something like ChatGPT, the process that I've ironed out is that you just need to get the vibe right. You need to create some visual mockups, and then you need to solidify that into some written guidelines. And when you do that, now when it comes time to create content, launch a funnel, or try something new, you're never starting from scratch. For example, if we have a brand like this, we can go ahead and mock up some different ideas and directions, get clear with the client which direction they want to go in, and then we can actually go into ChatGPT and start to mock up different pieces of their marketing and sales funnel, digital products, all right there in ChatGPT, just with some basic prompts. And what I found is that when it has the visual direction along with some written guidelines, it can help you mock up these ideas really fast. So this whole process I've developed is called the mood board method, and it helps you do all of this right inside ChatGPT without any other complicated tools, no endless scrolling for inspiration, and no costly back and forth with designers. The cool thing is you can do this for unlimited projects for yourself or clients. And whether you're building your personal brand or launching your next big idea, the mood board method helps you move faster and create with confidence. So here's a quick high level overview of how it works. We start with what I call a brand vibe report, and that's basically written instructions to establish the feel of your brand. Cause every good brand starts with the feeling that you want it to convey. So instead of going into the details of writing up your fonts, colors, and even imagery, it's more about what is the feeling that I'm trying to capture. And in a video I did a couple of weeks back, I kind of showed that process of going back and forth with the AI to capture the essence and that feeling of your brand. And once you get that written up, the AI will be on the right track. So from there, you can go ahead and have it create visual mockups to see if you're on the same page with the AI. And what's really cool here is you can make a bunch of different mood board images to try to capture the feeling of your brand. And if it's not feeling quite right, you can just make as many variations as you want. And what's fun is these mood board images can be for anything from physical products to online courses or programs to services to coaching offers. And you can also have fun with it and just make up anything you want. The whole point of the mood board image is to capture the whole vibe in one visual graphic. And once you get clear on that, you can go ahead and get that written up. So what AI is really good at is analyzing imagery like that and deconstructing it into written instructions on how to create more content in that same style. So what I usually do here with these visual brand guidelines is I tell the AI to analyze the image and then write up detailed guidelines as if it's writing an email to my design and marketing team to help them create on-brand content for me. And the assumption is that the designers will not be able to see any other visual content. So the description needs to be written in a way that is very clear and easy to follow, even if they have no other visual inspiration. So it has to analyze the image and create these visual brand guidelines. And that becomes really useful because what I do next is I upload that into a project right inside my ChatGPT account. So if you have a paid ChatGPT account, you can use projects, which are really handy 
because you can basically just upload all these documents in there. And then anytime you log back into ChatGPT, you can just open up that project and it has all of that in there already. So that just saves you the time and hassle in the future of having to retrain the AI on this stuff. Once you have these documents written up and your mood board image created, you have a really good foundation. And now when you ask ChatGPT to do other tasks, like help you conceptualize your website or come up with podcast ideas, or help you imagine what your social media feeds could look like or your sales funnel, anything you want to come up with, it can help you not only write up better written instructions or concepts, but also create visual mockups for you so you can actually see what it could look like. And what's also really powerful is you can even pull out elements of it, right? So instead of just having a nice looking mood board, you can actually tell the AI to go in and give you the background image. It can generate a background image from any part of your mood board that you like. And so I created prompts that will analyze your mood board and pull out these different types of background images. And those can be used on your website, on your slideshows, on your social media graphics. So this process right here is what I call the mood board method. And really what you do is those first three steps, you upload that into a ChatGPT project. And now every time you log into ChatGPT, you can create branded content really fast just by starting the conversation, saying what you want to create, and then go from idea to visual mockups, and even the layers of the graphics that you need all right there without any other design tools. And so after doing this over and over again with my clients, this is pretty much what it looks like. So we start with the brand vibe, we create the mood board image, we create the written guidelines, then we start to pull out those graphic layers that we need. We mock up different ideas of what their campaigns and marketing materials could look like. And then we start to go in and do the actual work. So this upfront planning, ideation, brainstorming used to take a lot of time, but now we can do all that really in one meeting with a client or for me on my own, just in about 20, 30 minutes, I can sit there and go through this whole process. And then I'm clear on what I want to create before I sit down to do it. So if you need to make a website, if you need to make video content, social media content, email campaigns, you name it, you have a direction and you even have inspiration to help you put it together. And that saves you so much time and creative energy and helps you get a much better, more professional looking result with way less effort. So here's an example of all those elements coming together, consistency with the fonts and colors, also these background layers and textures. These were all created with ChatGPT. So I actually just generated these from scratch with ChatGPT just by uploading some of these mood boards that we created. And then I would just take screenshots of the parts that I liked and tell it to make more background images like that. That's what the amazing thing is about a tool like ChatGPT is it can just analyze something and then recreate anything you need just by having a conversation with it. And I also had much more direction of how we wanted to lay this out, the kind of contrast we wanted to have, the background colors and feel of the whole website, just because I could look through the mockups and the examples that we created with ChatGPT. So with just a little bit of upfront work using ChatGPT, I was able to sit down and execute on the vision much faster. And then every page we want to create, we're not starting from scratch. I have clarity of the direction, the feel, and then even images like this, I was able to use ChatGPT to create these kind of on-brand images. So by uploading these mockups to give the AI the feel of the brand, it's able to create whatever you want really easily. You just tell it, I want an image kind of like this. And here's kind of the look and feel of our brand and boom, it can execute on anything you want to create. So here's another example of logging into chat GPT, going to that project, asking it for some mockups for YouTube video thumbnails. And there you go. We have some ideas of how the fonts and colors can come together, what those thumbnails could look like. And if you don't like it, you can just have a conversation with the AI and tell it to come up with different ideas or directions, give it some feedback. And now literally in a few minutes, you have a lot more clarity on how you can make this look and what, even what kind of content you can create. So it's not just the look and feel. It also helps you kind of conceptualize what types of content you can create. So what you really want to think about is how can you leverage the capabilities of AI to make your life way easier? It can do so much creative thinking and research for you and now even visually show you what it's thinking. So what we found in our agency is this is way more fun and clients really love seeing all these mock-ups and the next level that we've gone to is even having the ai come up with these kind of uh, photographic styles so we come up with a like a one paragraph description of what we want our stock photos to look like 
Now I can go in to ChatGPT or Sora and just give it a one line description of what I want the image to be, plus that one paragraph breakdown of the visual style, and it can just knock it out really quick. So now we can create really, really cool on-brand custom stock photos that are just super creative and cool with pretty much any idea you can come up with. And this is the kind of content we're going to use for some other marketing campaigns. And for example, we use this one on the website to celebrate taking the next step. You know, these kind of visuals can be used in so many places, but normally this just didn't happen. You would go find some generic stock photo, or you would take something yourself. Either way, it was a lot of hassle looking around, but now really your creativity is the only limitation. Once you get these kind of foundational pieces in place, you can come up with super cool visual concepts that are on brand and look amazing, can make your content so much more fun and interesting on social media, can help you convey your ideas much more effectively on your sales pages. And I've also used these inside courses and programs that we've built for clients to make them more fun and interesting. Like for example, we had a, a dog trainer online course and uh, we created all these really fun graphics of dogs flying around. So, you know, it's just so much more fun to make your content when you have a clear direction, you have your brand dialed in. And then what I do is those kind of late nights when you're bored, not really productive, but you want to play around with this stuff. You can just create a whole library of content like this. So when you do sit down the next day to get down to business, you have all these assets ready to go and you don't have to sit there and start from scratch. And we've gone through the same process for other clients. And again, the feedback has been amazing. It's so much more fun to work with clients and to brainstorm with our team when we have visuals to look at. So that's how we're using ChatGPT right now to come up with these kind of mock-ups to see if we're on the right direction with a look and feel to see what pieces we like. And then when we sit down to actually create the website, we have all these elements and layers that we need to make it happen. And again, this can work for pretty much any type of brand. All these mock-ups are just really beautiful, really fun. And it really gets the clients excited to see like, wow, this is how my brand could look. I start to really see the look and feel and it has a super unique and custom look. We use it for conceptualizing social media posts, website design. You can even imagine what physical products will look like and more fun ideas here, like what your podcast could look like. You can also have it come up with logos and concepts and not just logos for your main brand, but any kind of product you want to create. So whether it's a podcast, if it's an event that you're going to host, if it's a course or program you want to create, you can have it mock up branded logo designs in literally one minute. And this is the kind of stuff that you used to go to 99designs and pay to get a bunch of ideas created, whether it's good or bad. I mean, it's available now to just create it right here in ChatGPT. So I think this is the best way for any entrepreneur, business owner, creative professional to start to leverage this stuff, to imagine your ideas and see what it could look like. The truth right now is the work really then becomes actually making this real. So what I would do is go and take a screenshot of the background here. I would go ahead and probably go to the noun project to find different icons like this. So just for example, I'm over here at the noun project and I could go ahead and just find heart money icons like that. So pretty quick like that, just a few seconds over on the noun project, you can get your graphic created pretty fast and start to actually build out the idea, the concept. So here's an example of the mock-up that I created being turned into real assets that I can use to put all this together. All right, now I've gone from a concept that the AI mocked up to real assets that I can start to use. This is just an example of the layers. And I really recommend getting the stuff in layers that you can use for all of your marketing needs. Because the real work now comes into putting all this together and getting the right messaging, the right visuals, laying it out. That still takes some effort. I'm personally not relying on ChatGPT to do all of that for me right now because it just doesn't come out right and I want to have more control. And so that's why I go through the process of getting these layers, using AI to mock up the concepts and then getting all the layers created so that I can go ahead and execute on the vision with any project or task that we need to complete. Having all the layers like this on their own will make that much faster. So to wrap up this video today, the big takeaway is that you can use ChatGPT to build your brand with speed and confidence. And what I've put together, this mood board method is the only AI powered branding system that transforms rough ideas into consistent high impact visual concepts in minutes with ChatGPT. And if you want to learn more about how this mood board method works, I've got a full training for you and written guide to help you get started. 
And I've also created some custom GPT tools to help you do all of this way faster. So I'll put the link below this video. Be sure to check it out if you're interested. This is so much fun. And as you can see, this is actually saving me so much time. It's way more fun to do this creative work. And I'm using this for my own projects, for client projects. And what I've found is that there's still a lot of work that you have to do, but this helps you do that work at a much higher level. And it helps you get way better results with way less time. So you can actually do more. And that's really the bottleneck is it used to take so much effort to do this. But now when you get past that first level of creative thinking, now it's like, oh, I could do this. I could do that. I could create this. I could test that. There's always more work to do. And I think the key for entrepreneurs and creative professionals in today's world is to figure out how to get a system to use AI to help you move much faster. So it's really important to learn these skills right now so you don't fall behind, but you can really leverage and take advantage of all the new technology that's coming out. And as I mentioned, this stuff's going to get better and better. This is where we are right now. It's already incredible what it can do for you. Just imagine where we're going to be a year from now. I think the AI is going to get better and better. It'll help do a lot of this tedious work for you. So you can be more of the creative director, the CEO, and actually work with AI to bring your vision to life way faster and with way better results. All right, that's all for today's video. Hope you found this helpful and uh, I'd love to hear what was most interesting to you, any key insights or observations on your end. Uh, and I'll leave you with some inspiration here of some of the testing I've been doing, these cool uh, mock-up brands that I've been building, just so you can kind of see the quality of the AI and what it can create. All of these were made really just one click using Sora or ChatGPT, which are both using the same image model. And what I'm doing now is testing out, creating the actual mood board and then extracting out the layers and elements from it. So that's kind of what you're seeing here on these mock-ups. But yeah, it's a lot of fun. If you're curious to do some of this and create these kind of mood boards for your own business, again, any project, any idea you want to create, instead of sitting there thinking about it or clicking around and researching, you can now go into creation mode really fast and turn your ideas into mood boards, get clear on your direction, and then start to execute your vision so much faster using AI. All right, I'll end it there for now, and I'll talk to you soon.